are those articles you were uh, talking about earlier still online yeah some of them if you go to my site uh, by the way blogger now is taking out some of my pages on my blogger page I've been on blogger for 10 years now right after my I had my own website my own website got the server got hacked and it was taken down and stuff like this so I just went okay I can't deal with the maintenance of a website or the expense of a website so I went on blogger after 10 years of being on blogger blogger is now taking down pages articles that I've written in the past one of the pages they took out was just a table of contents linking up to our blog <laughs> our our podcast on soundcloud right and the reason it's happening is because sensor tube youtube and google blogger and a lot of these technocratic sites they have automation running and it's filtering censoring information and they don't even know the programs are so horrendous that they don't even know what they're censoring right there i'll read you a piece i wrote um in one of my first articles i ever wrote i'm going to read you a paragraph on it okay but before we go there let's see what let's find out says chicho that was an articulate way to teach others to have control of their time and lives pursue your passions and pass on valuable life information at an affordable price eric weinstein wisely said all it takes for you to earn six figures is a thousand followers to invest a hundred dollars a year into your project awesome and eric uh, weinstein i like aaron weinstein's uh, podcast by the way if we're thinking about the same person um and that's a great way of saying it right and that's one of the business models i've had in my life uh there's a few different teachers that i followed one of them was robert anton wilson but let me let me read you this anomalies prisons and geo physics one of the first articles there's two articles actually about four articles that i wrote when i came online my first articles in 2005 or so right 2005 2006 one of them was a real review of system of a downs uh music right and a phenomenal piece this piece right here let me link it up for you guys anomalies prisons and geophysics how governments use data and how to stop them Doop. that's the article thank you very much uh milzy 115 for the twitch prime sub this article right here this article took me three weeks four weeks to write really it took me a long time it took me about a month to write because i wanted to share my vision of where society was going if we were not careful if we didn't hold these centralized powers accountable which is where we are by the way right this is about data mining data collection uh, how centralized power can control uh, our lives and turn turn us into serfs and slaves right destroy our life read this article i put a lot of time and effort into this game but i'm going to read you the last paragraph in this and all the embedded video in this article that i that i sent you all the stuff was after i had written this article i because this was on my first site i ever loaded this is the third iteration of my site online right this was on the first site. all this embedded video is after the fact right i just embedded some videos on there but i'm going to read you the last paragraph i think it's the last paragraph i'm going to read you this right and this is about data collecting okay no i'm going to read you the last two paragraphs and i we've sandwiched edward stone snowden's video between these two paragraphs right so let me read you this apologies i'm not reading the chat okay quote from my own article the best way however to stop these entities is to make fundamental changes to the system itself this requires us to be to be educated in the methods in which we control uh, we are controlled allowing us to understand the problems that exist in the current systems so we can avoid its pitfalls placement at the highest levels in government of ethical civil servants that are accountable to the people and regard the privacy of individuals as the most important aspect of their duties is an essential starting point it is also crucial that during this transitional period <laughs> during this transitional period alternative choices for leaders uh, leaders are present to avoid a power vacuum by decentralizing our government and localizing our communities we can avert chaos during this process 
as a collective we must understand that democracy can only exist in a society with an educated populace and the right for self-governance can only be obtained through knowledge when a society embraces ignorance and forfeits its right to control its destiny it has succumbed to apathy and can only deteriorate in science the analysis of anomalies contributes to our understanding of the physical world improving our lives in contrast identifying anomalies in our society based on political doctrine has created fear and misunderstanding restricting our lives the lack of accountability from our leaders and our indifference to the consequences of their actions is diminishing our civil liberties but it is not too late we can prevent this from happening we still have the ability to reclaim our future if we begin to educate ourselves okay that's just the last two paragraph from that article very important back then at the beginning of 2000s after 9-11 when they went into after 9-11 really Patriot Act kicked in you could see where centralized power wanted to take our societies which is here now presently and what a dystopian society I see coming 10 years from now if we're not careful okay that was a warning I wrote in 2005 2006 why does MC Escher look like Cloud Shannon I don't know what Cloud Shannon looks like controller Zen how are you doing chat many of you don't uh, know this but Chicho actually has a, a strain of marijuana named after him it's called a Chicho John is it I wish one day there will be right We'll call it the Chichonian Chicho Chong. <laughs> yes, they named it for him in 1996. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> funny, funny. So basically, they won. How do we have any hope when they have all of the power? They are, no, they don't all have all of the power. They don't have it, right? They don't have it. Look at all the censorship going on, Sensor Tube. Look at this chocolate, look at this chocolate, look at this chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, look at the censorship on Sensor 2, right? Look at all the alternative platforms. Not alternative, new tech has popped up as disruptive innovation to challenge the stuff. I, I load up more videos on Bitchu, Rumble, and Odyssey than I do Sensor 2. In five years' times, I've been on Sensor 2 for 15 years. In 15 years time I'm gonna have way more videos on those platforms than I am on sensor to if I live to be the expected age that males live in Canada I can guarantee you I will be allowed around a lot longer than sensor tube YouTube will be around they haven't won elder god it is extremely important for us as a population to fully comprehend the power that this sort of broad data collection gives our governments those who control and interpret the data will have the ability to not only remove unwanted people but also to restrict the movement of the entire populace that's a, that's what i wrote down i believe right what are they doing right now what are they doing right now they were doing this back then but they were doing it to very select people so the majority of people were like ah whatever they're bad people our government's telling the truth our government was lying through their teeth right our government was lying through their teeth look at how many innocent people they have in Guantanamo Bay they destroyed their lives innocent people for for 15 16 years they've been tortured by a centralized power and the people that live in that country in the United States don't give a rat's ass what their government has been doing to these innocent people as someone said I forgot who it was we get the government we deserve right if you believe in such things as being governed elder God I like this paragraph thanks elder God took me a long time to write that piece because I really wanted to make sure it was timeless <laughs> 